Alright guys, tighten up. It's the guys from PBMac36 again and with this 7 Days to Die tutorial we're going to be making a cement mixer. You can see we've pulled it up here. If you don't know where to find it, you can type in mixer uh, in your search box. And it's going to give you, just like it does with everything in 7 Days to Die, it's going to give you the item inventory that you're going to need. Now, one thing you're going to need to make the cement mixer is you're going to have to have the knowledge to do it. You're going to have that have that acquired skill. And so you go to the little uh, tasseled hat and you're looking at construction tools. Construction tools need to be, I think that they need to be on about 25 to 40, somewhere like that. And then it will unlock this and you put 10 of your experience points on the cement mixer and it will give you the capability to build it. Now we need uh, forged iron, 25 of those, scrap cable, we need one of those, five springs, a small engine, and short iron pipe. So we're going to show you how to harvest those things from the uh, from your inventory and where to go get them. Uh, the forged iron, you make that with clay and iron in the forge. So you just pull it up under resources and you can see here we don't have quite enough to make the full 25 so actually this is kind of good I want to show you how this works um, what we're going to do is we're going to put some more iron in and let it um, be cooking or smelting and uh, we split that in half so that I can utilize both of these ports for the uh, for the iron so it's going to be cooking and we're actually going to click this max now we got enough to make 21 because it's you know, it's smelted some more. I always say cook, but it's smelting. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to let this go. I want to show you how how this works. You can see that it's starting to kind of move up here once it gets up to about four. Of course, then we'll have enough because it takes ten iron. So, then we're going to go back in here and we're going to make some more. So, we'll just make the last four that we need so it doesn't take that long to do just want to show you guys that you can do um, multitask and do a couple things at a time so now we're going to place these down here so now we have our 25 I'm going to turn our forge off so we don't waste fuel and we're going to go out into our world here now you're going to need to take a wrench with you because you're gonna have to tear down some appliances and some vehicles uh, automobiles cars vehicles whatever you want to call them to get the materials that you need and I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute so we're gonna go into Dyersville from our base and rob those items that we still have left and to do that we're gonna get the appliances I'm gonna show you how to do that where to find them so here we are at Dyersville and we're going to find a house and uh, what you're looking for is the is a stove um, sometimes refrigerators will, will give you what you need but um, you can tear down these appliances and it will give you what you need so we're going to go in here here's a stove and a refrigerator and if you take your axe and hit it it's just going to give you um, the iron so don't do that we need to dismantle it that's why you need the wrench so use your wrench and your wrench will actually break this apart and give you so you can got pipe that's gonna give us the cable so now we've got uh, that gave us the cable that we need the scrap cable and it gave us two short iron pipe so we're a little bit short again so now we're gonna have to uh, go into another house let's go back at the front and go across the street and see if the neighbors have appliances. Going to switch our axe and take this door down. And then we're going to, there's a refrigerator there. So again, instead of hitting it with the hammer, and of course it's got stuff in it, so we're going to go ahead and loot it. So we're going to tear this down, and it gave us cable and short another short iron pipe. But we still have to get more materials we need more short iron pipe there's there's two more and it gives us another scrap cable so now we're gonna pull up our inventory and now you can see that we have what we need as far as the short iron pipe is concerned so we're gonna drop that down here and then we're going in and get the cable and we're gonna drop that down so now 
All we need, guys, is to find some cars and scrap those, and we can get the small engine and the spring. So now we're off to find a place where a car is, and here we go. We're at the little hospital in Dyersville, and um, I'm told, I'm not sure that this is accurate, but I'm told that if you're trying to get an engine to go to the front of the vehicle and start tearing it up from the front bumper or the hood. So that's what we're doing here. We're going to tear this down and see what it gives us. We're hoping for an engine. Come on, engine. Okay, there's some springs. There's another short iron pipe. Hmm. No engine. But we did get some springs. So that's good. So now we're looking for the engine. So we're going to have to go and find another vehicle. Let's see if there's another vehicle in the area. There's a parking lot over here. There's one. So let's go over to it. And again, like I said, uh, we're going to we're not going to chance it. We're going to we're going to go from the front. I don't know if it would give you one if you robbed it from the back or not. So um, let's go from the front. Tear into the hood here. Let's see what we get. Come on, engine. Come on, engine. Wow. No engine. Okay. No problem. There are more vehicles here and about. So we're going to go see we're at the hospital here. Uh, you know, junk junkyards have lots of cars. Sometimes they're burnt out cars on the uh, roads and things. So I see a battery in this one. I don't know if it'll give it to us. Or not come on engine come on engine and no engine again not to worry the burnout cars don't have them and so don't worry about tearing those up you can get springs out of them but um, don't want to be engines let's let's look at this pretty red car <laughs> there's a white one if we need it let's see listen this this is gonna give us an engine we're gonna check it see what's in it nothing all right, let's tear it up. I gotta get down here close enough. So we're gonna wrench this thing, and boom! Yes, sir. We got what we need. So now we're gonna pull our inventory up. We got the engine. We got springs. We got scrap cable. We got short iron pipe, and we uh, manufactured our forged iron from the forge. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our base and assemble the cement mixer and show you what you can do with those uh, because they are a very useful tool. Here we are back at the house. So we're going to pull up our inventory and we are going to press up on the D-pad and we're going to craft the cement mixer. And I'm going to show you, uh, it doesn't take that long to do. You can see down here, uh, it's a little over a minute. So, uh, and again, we're going to show you what you can actually do with it. And we've got some, you know, some spare parts here. So we'd really need, you know, some more forged iron. Um, we need another engine, but we do have some, you know, since we went out and did that scavenging, we do have some other... Um, resources that we can build the cement mixer with. So I'm going to take you down in the mine once we get it set up and show you um, how to use gravel to patch holes when you make mistake when you're, mistakes when you're digging in stone. Uh, that's a useful tool and um, we'll show you um, how to make sand and uh, what you can use the sand for, uh, the crushed sand. So here we go, We've got our cement mixer. We're going to go ahead and place that in our belt and we're going to find a good spot in our base to put our cement mixer because it's bright and shiny and freshly manufactured. So we're going to throw it down right here. Okay. Triangle to use and you can go in you can see it makes you know you make crushed sand, asphalt, you, you take your small stone and it'll crush it into crushed sand which is good for making cement which then in turn makes the concrete mix. So let's do that let's make just a little bit of sand with it just to kind of show you how it works and uh, it doesn't take that long to make uh, a pretty good bit of sand this uh, the mixer is pretty quick and it's uh, manufacturing capability you can see it just it spits the stuff out so now we got sand and um, we want to go in and make some concrete mix so we're going to take the sand out of the queue or out of the output up top 
because we need sand, uh, cement, and small stone to make the concrete mix. I think I have some cement already manufactured over here in this storage. Let me look. And I do not. I may have used it all. So for those of you that haven't seen our video on our playlist on how to do cement, um, you actually smelt uh, stone and it will um, make the cement which is instrumental or a, a material that you have to have to make concrete mix with which in turn you use to make the uh, concrete blocks and pillars and half blocks and things so now we can go in here and again there's a couple of different ways you can make a uh, cement mix but this is using the mixer so we're gonna make three of them and it pops them out and throws them up into the output which we can now move them down so that is uh, crushed sand and concrete mix using this then we're gonna go into the gravel and uh, to make gravel you need some sand and you need small stone so we can actually make it looks like one uh, so we're gonna actually we're probably gonna need a little more than that let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and make that one it, it does it pretty quick so we're gonna take that and we're gonna move it down into our pouch here we're gonna make some more crushed sand because I want to give you a couple of examples of how to use this and guys you can check out our seven days to die playlist it's the savage seven days to die we have some base builds and we have uh, other tutorial videos there as well so if you're interested in this game there's some basics and there's some a little bit more advanced stuff on that playlist so be sure to check that out and there'll be a link to that at the end of the video so now we're going to go ahead and make uh, a couple of more gravel um, this is something that yeah, it's not super advanced I mean but I have found that a lot of people don't know that you can do this so if you make a mistake when you're digging uh, through through stone, you can use the gravel to patch those mistakes. And again, guys, um, as always, when you um, when you're watching these, if you like what you see, there'll be more of these, and we do have a lot of streams and things. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell if you do subscribe, so that uh, it will give you notifications as to when we're posting new material or when we are streaming again. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select this gravel. You see this little hole here, which you know could, you know, might be a mistake. It uh, may not be, but uh, we're just going to kind of dress this up a little bit, just as an example. So you just select it and place it just like you would soil, and uh, it makes it nice and smooth and and even there. So um, you know you can patch little places just to kind of dress up you know your underground tunneling and types of thing. We'll, we'll place another one right here and see how that looks okay and you can see how even it goes and makes it just makes it neater so but anyway guys thank you so much for uh, watching our videos again check out our savage seven days to die playlist for streams and other tutorials and again as always comment like and subscribe and um, share our videos and uh, if you do subscribe, be sure to click the little bell that will notify you when we're posting new material or when we're online streaming. Thank you guys so much.